All right. What up, y'all? It's your boy Manny, callmemanny.com. I'm back with another video. This is gonna be another Q&A. Uh, I'm gonna answer some of the questions that you left in the last Q&A video. You can watch that video here if you wanna get the answers to that. If you wanna know more answers to more questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment in this video here with your question, and I will answer that in my next Q&A video. I'll get around to answering five of your questions today. If you left me a question on the previous video, Ask that question again in this video. Hopefully I get around to answering it in the following video. I will, I'll keep notice. So I, I got you, I got you. Where's my phone? My phone was in my hand the whole time I'm over here with my... Okay, so DE wrote, why did you stop making music for a couple years? I stopped making music for about three and a half years. Uh, literally right after I had moved from New York back to Miami. Uh, I moved to New York on a whim. I had a couple songs that went viral in the New York market. And um, I literally quit my job to pursue my career full time. Obviously, it didn't go exactly as I planned. And simultaneously, I had a baby boy that was about to be born. Um, so he is literally, he is the age of the time frame that I had stopped making music. So, um, you know, I basically committed to, uh, you know, being there for him and being a father for him um, and just kind of put music to the side because it really didn't go the way I hoped. You know, there's a lot more to that story. Uh, but I'll leave that for another day, another video. Truth Teller wrote, where do you get the inspirations for your songs? So I really don't think about what kind of song am I going to write when I write it. I literally just kind of think about a melody usually. And then I'll think about a lyric that flows well with that melody, whatever meaning that lyric might have. And then I'll just kind of build a song around it. And so it's not really like where I'm like, okay, I feel sad, so let me make a sad song, or I feel happy, let me make a happy song. It's usually just, this sounds dope, and then I just put it together. And I usually can tap into whatever emotions I might've felt in the past. So I've felt, you know, a wide range of emotions. And um, so I can just kind of tap into whatever it was at the time that I had felt that emotion and just be able to write it off rip. So that actually comes really in handy when it comes to writing new music, um, but it also, I feel like it also kind of limits me to the point where I wish I could do that. I wish I could literally say, you know what, I want to make a song about this uh, and then boof, it comes out. It doesn't really work that way. It's usually just a matter of inspiration from the moment. I'll just think of a lyric and then it goes from there. Speaky Spanglish wrote, what was your main inspiration for Prequel? So for those of you who don't know, Prequel was released, it's about to be four years ago now, on February 16th of 2016. And uh, Prequel had nine songs on it. Uh, two songs that were already kind of known, which was Out My Way and Falling Out of Love. You could say that those were my singles. And then it had four more songs that were love songs, all with the same kind of concept that included me having an emotional connection with the person, but not the same emotional connection that we had when we first started and not really knowing how to cope with that, how to deal with that or how to how to really end it and move on, not knowing how to move on because I never really was in that position before. So a lot of those emotions were emotions that I felt in the past at one point in time. And I was able to kind of just kind of put all these songs together. Uh, these songs were written, they were actually written, the majority of them, two to three years prior to prequel releasing. I just didn't release music for that long of a time frame. And the latter half of the album, or the latter third of the album, included some songs that were about me and my music, it included Comeback All In and 210%. Those songs were actually more current. 210% was the last song that I had actually recorded for the album. So it was very current in that regard. Uh, and those songs were just about me and my current emotional state of trying to make it in the music industry and some of the thoughts that were in my head about what was about to happen and what I was going through at the time. Jalen Aguayo asked me, what inspired you to start singing and writing music in the first place? I started writing music, uh, the earliest I can remember doing it was in the fifth grade, very inspired by like Michael Jackson and, um, and actually a whole bunch of rappers at the time. And so I would write these little rap songs. I started learning more about production in the seventh grade. I had a piano class, I got really into the piano. I literally would stay late at school just to play the piano in the room where all the pianos were. I got really into like producing and beat making at the time. And then I started singing, uh, it's a funny story, but I started, I sang on one of my songs. Um, I was kind of inspired by, you know, the Lloyd Banks Karma's, um, 
you know, the Fabulous and Tamiya track. Uh, I, I started getting inspired by the idea of having R&B vocals on the hook and rap on the verses. So I had a song called Be My Baby, super old. For those of y'all that know the song, cool. For those of y'all that don't, you'll never hear it. Uh, but anyways, uh, my manager at my first job, which is actually at KFC, shout out to Christina. Um, she actually told me that I didn't sing that bad. I sung horrible. I don't know what the heck she was talking about. But um, uh, she inspired me to actually want to learn more about singing. And so when I got into college, I actually joined the college chorus. I took vocal lessons. I ended up doing a music minor. And um, so I learned a lot about how to sing uh, through that process. So I, I'm definitely gonna sit here and tell you that I did not know how to sing in the past. I know how to sing now. I'm not the greatest singer in the world, but obviously I have a sound and I'm um, just kind of blessed to, you know, have some people around me that, you know, tell me that I have a great voice and uh, tell me that they really connect with the music that I make. So thank you for that question. And to answer the last question, D asked me, what is my goal for 2020? My goal for 2020 is to release 12 new songs total. Uh, I look back at my career. I had never released more than 12 songs since 2007 when I actually released a uh, Call Me Manny album. Uh, that was one of my first albums. It's actually available on this YouTube channel. If you go all the way back to the beginning of the channel, all the songs are in there. And so if you want to get a good laugh, go back and check those out. Um, but since that year, I hadn't released more than 12 songs in one particular year. Um, and I actually feel like that that's part of the reason why I might have not gotten the success I was looking for. Um, I've had enough songs that have gone viral on me. Um, which is great, but I need, you know, I, I think I held back on a lot of content and uh, I always feel myself doing it this year, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I think we, you know, started with a good start with Calling. I released Time not too long ago before that. And um, so that's my goal. My goal in 2020 is to have 12 new songs for you. And um, hopefully I get as close as I can to that as possible. All right, y'all, so that was five questions answered from the last Q&A video. If you have a question you wanna ask me about my music, please leave that question in the comment section below, and I will answer your question as quickly as I can on the following Q&A video. As always, continue listening. I truly appreciate it. It really means the world to me that you are all listening to my music and care you know, to get the answers to some of these questions. Uh, that being said, if you wanna to listen to my latest song, Calling, the link will be right here. If you want to listen to my latest song, Time, the link will be right here. I'll see you.